Um, do you want to, what was, uh... <laughs> This originally came about because I sent in a video of me singing for the girl in 14G um, and which is a bit scary because I hadn't really filmed many things before uh, from my home and then uh, Isabella got in contact with me and said I think you'd be great for for these um, uh, these these concerts so then we made the decision that we would film from home originally it was going to be at Klonta um, filmed at Klonta but no then we decided to just keep it all in our home base <laughs> I've never done anything quite like this before. Um, I've always kind of filmed concerts and kind of filmed things from home. I might post something online or something I enjoyed or I think was um, I wanted to share with other people. But to film with the pur sole purpose of putting some together and sending it out is quite new to me. And I think it's new to everyone during this lockdown because we haven't got much choice when we can't live do any live performances. Big learning process. Um, getting the lighting right, getting kind of the the good settings, uh, making sure the sound balance is right. Uh, but you know, I've enjoyed the process, and I think it'll be useful for me um, as we, as we go forward. There would be one long staircase just going up, and one even longer. And home concerts are going to be more. Um, are going to be more available now and are more accepted in the music industry. So to get used to this feeling, to practice in it and to create something like this is a real godsend for us. And thanks for the time to see and hear Talking just as noisily as they can Naomi and I were at the uh, RNCM together, but we never actually directly worked together. I think we uh, shared the stage in Le Vie Parisienne, um, the Pilgrim's Progress, perhaps Sandrion. Uh, but I don't think we, we've never directly worked together. We've never done concerts or we've never kind of shared uh, the stage, just the two of us. So it's a real pleasure to, to work with Naomi um, on this project. And actually, I think both of us um, work really well together. We both work hard and I like to get the job done. So it's been a, a real uh, good process. I can live on just ice cream. I started in musical theatre when I was younger, doing things like the National Youth Music Theatre. And then I came to a point where I had to sort of decide which one I wanted to focus on and I just enjoyed opera a little bit more, but that doesn't mean that I don't go back to it from time to time. And I'm often singing, finding myself in positions where I'm singing musical theatre numbers, um, even in concerts today. Um, and also in terms of vintage and war songs, I started up a little function duo called the Vintage Jets, which uh, toured around Manchester. So I've got quite used to singing those songs and I love them as well. They're such fun to sing. Every winding street in Mayfair falls beneath the spell. I know such enjoyment. Musical theatre has always been a passion of mine. I sang a lot of it before going to college. And then when I was at the RNCM, opera kind of took over. The voice was going in that direction and that's what I concentrated on. And I think as a modern um, opera singer, I think it's good to be versatile. Um, it gives some variety uh, in your repertoire and also it gives you options. And if a musical theatre production comes up, then you have that ability to go for it. And the world will be better for This experience has been a really interesting one actually. I think it's made us more versatile as musicians. Um, we've had to adapt to the surroundings um, and the situations that have been presented to us and it's definitely been surprising and, and I've absolutely loved it. So I think the proof has been in the feedback that we received um, and people enjoyed it so much that it seems like 
this is such a great route for us um, and something that we can really learn from, adapt and use in the future. Well, it's meant a lot to me because Clonta have given us the opportunity. I really appreciate that. Um, we can't ignore the fact that artists are a little bit stuck at the moment, we're out of work. Uh, so having an opportunity to do something like this has been um, very, very much appreciated. Also, it's opened my eyes um, to the struggles we have in care homes. Um, after speaking to some other care homes and having the feedback from the videos and knowing we'd actually, we've actually made a bit of a difference has, um, has really, really been lovely. And I think it's something um, I'd like to carry on with if possible. Um, I'd absolutely love to be good to do this again. Uh, it's so important. It's helped so many people. It's helped us. And I cannot wait to see where this project takes us. I want to End interview, I think. Great, yes. I'm going to press.